I don't know, in any case. Let's go back to it. <coughs> Everybody say hello to YouTubes. Hello, YouTubes. I'm Grimwit. This is Mortuary's Assistance. And you don't have time anymore aside from Drax. You are your secret project. You got more stun in the No, no, no. That is the problem. Is that stuff right there is taking time. Right? And the other thing is, uh, like, my, my friends want to play their games, so I got to put some time aside for that. And there's all the anime I want to watch. And it's like not having time. What is that? Cremation bag. Okay, let's not pick that up. Oh, uh, let's not turn that on. Yet. So what do we got here? Uh, Vernon Cummings, <laughs> uh, Abram Doherty, and uh, Nicola Ni Nicolas Mitros. We're gonna do Ni Nic Nicolas Mitros. So let's get him on the table. Oh, that's right. Mm hmm. Crummy old building. Hey! Fuck take that back! The shit out of me. This building's doing the best it can. I'm gonna start on that side. Is there a fail state to this? Hey, what's up there, man? Nicholas? Nicholas. You and me, buddy. I'm gonna rule the world. A strip? Use a strip? No, uh, nothing smoldering. Nothing doing. All right. All right, Nicholas. You are the first contestant tonight. I like how your toesies wiggle. That's pretty cute. All right, let's check you out. Yep, I already see some issues. Where's my, um... Uh, oh, good, I do have my, my clipboard. That's right, I stole my clipboard. Because fuck you, uh, uh, Delver. This, this is my clipboard now. Let's start with the head and move on down to the feet. All right, what are we dealing with here? Let's rotate that way. You got something on your face, right? Let's see. You're looking all right, dude. You're looking all right. Um... There are six things to find on your body. Well, that's a problem. Hello? Oh, scared face. Nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, I kind of feel that. You go. No. You you know what? You know what's a great thing's fine. It's it's fine. Uh, what? No, I, I you're just you're just as much as I'm just saying things. I just need to get back to work. It's it's fine. Hey, you wanna know a great way to not convince me of shit? Demonic whispers. That's a great way to not convince me of shit. I'm not convinced. Let's end this game early, right? Let's close the door. Start up the car. Yeah, I forgot to shut the door. I can't believe him. Oh. What am I doing? I don't know, but Delver's over there. I shouldn't be out here. It's my fucking fault. Get back to work. Now, once again, this this does not convince me to go back to work. But I don't see an option now. Like, there's nothing telling me I can't start the car. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, right? Right. Let's shut the door here. Because I'm now I'm going on foot. Because fuck you, demon. I'm not... Like, I am not convinced by your demonic ways. Of course the gate's locked.
Let's do a Sir Robin. Choice. I'm stuck here. Fuck. Sir Robin ran away. He bravely ran away. When danger reared its ugly head, he bravely turned his tail and fled. All right, demon. It looks like it's you and me somehow. I guess somewhat. Hey, you got something on your foot there. Do you see the? Do you see the crazy shit that was bouncing off of him? Oh, you got some scratches there, buddy. Glowing scratches. It's pretty unique to have some glowing scratches, right? That probably proves that you're a fucking demon. Just guessing. You've got all the marks. There we go. Did I start with your head? I think I started with your head. Write this shit down. Mm hmm So there's the record system. The the record system? Record system? Record system? And there's the night shift. Let's see what the night shift is. It's like seventy nine hundred. Hey, we're in the night shift. the night shift. The night shift. So we got a night shift database. Uh, I hope you guys like reading, so well, let's go through this. This database is a collection of uh, my, all my findings related to the banishment of covetous demons. The history of the demonic and the tools I have found through my research, years of travel, and pierce, piecing together uh, whatever relics remain have been compiled here. Navigation of the bar is following. The history of demonic, which I guess is what we're at now. Identifying demonic tendencies. Uh, sigil of demonic names and tools to combat demonic forces. So let's start with, I guess, the history of demonic. Uh, since I first experienced contact with the demonic entities, uh, why is that a thing? I have dedicated myself to researching everything I can to prevent their attempts at possession. My, uh, I need to, should I, should I? Eh. My journey has taken me all over the world to search for answers. The scroll wheel does nothing! I have found that no particular religion has the full understanding of the demonic, while bits and pieces remain true in various interpretations. There is much that is inaccurate or simply unknown. I have compiled what I have found from various archives, relics. None of this is in integral to the banishment, but this knowledge may still be of use. Yeah, no, I'm going to read all of this since I'm stuck here. And, uh, and hope that, since it's the beginning of the game, right? Can you move that cursor on? God damn it. Uh, recovered language, quarter letting, the Halls of Hells, Lesser Spirit. So I'm going to do recovered language, but you guys choose. Halls of Hell, Lesser Spirit, or quarter, quarter letting, uh, the next thing. We'll have some interaction shit going on. Recovered language. Um, Ethony... Athenian? Ethinen, 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 is long. This name is e language is a long dead language recorded to be lost in the burnings of the libraries of Alexandria. Only a handful of religious scribes had knowledge of the uh, e language text and its spoken language. After the fires, what little was known was recorded in a hit and hidden to keep safe. Known as the e-language e language, it was believed to be the tool of angels. Is this not Enochian? Are they talking about Enochian? Because, like, I know what Enochian is. I don't know what the in and in, in is. Nin. That's why, that's why the special powers are called Nin language. Uh, to communicate with man, few have been allowed to access the remaining documents. Uh, Ethan Hunt and Antehain, demonic Ethan... Uh, Satan's exile from he heaven has his hatred for God drove the creation of the desecrated tongue uh, Antehane 
That actually that actually sounds like it could be something. Um, its records had been combined with the remaining documents of the ancient Ethan in the attempts to discover more of the language below are the translations I could find. Format. Uh, Ethan Ethan Antihane translation. Uh, we won't look through this. I'm sure it'll come in handy later on for when we want to do the ARG, right? So, blood, blood of sin, vessel, vessel, blood of sin, vessel of holy water, sin, uh, sin, sin, pray, holy, decay, arrival, name, fear, blah, 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 blah. Below are the recordings I managed to capture of Antihain being spoken for months in the Greece of translation. I'm sure hitting play on these will not damage my, uh, my ability to actually complete this game. No, it won't. All right. Uh, Kasim Ko Trish Kui. I want to drink the blood of sin. Pray in my name. Fear the arrival of my house. Let's do this one. Hey, what was that again? Cool beans. So, did you guys choose the next one? I guess not. Let's go for the halls of hell. Uh, when Satan and his followers fell from grace, he forged his throne in the great hall. In this hall, three houses were built, and he gave his position to Paris, who was a disciple within them. These disciples recovered the souls of all sins gathered uh, them to bring the destruction of God's creation to earth. I have questions. I have questions. Like, a sin is when you break one of God's laws, right? So, it, there seems to be some kind of power in, in defying God. And I, is that measurable? Can we find, like, is it is it a liquid? Can we get it in a liquid form and bottle sin? You're, you're making, breaking the rules. Like, it's basically walking through the halls without a hall pass in liquid form. Uh, they were given charge of the three great houses within the hall, halls to build and command their armies as archdemons of devils known to humans as covetous demons. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. The Mark of Three... There are three marks. Uh, the mark of three, the devil hand uh, seen holding three fingers up, surrounded by iconography of different houses. Uh, uh, is, that, is that Wiccan? That sounds Wiccan. This is Netscape. Well, it's Night Shift, but it's Netscape. Can't believe it. Remember Netscape? Jeez, I'm old. Uh, and strip now? You want, you want me to strip now? Hang on, hang on. Uh, back. For sure, didn't close these doors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm stripping for month. Nope, nothing on the strip. Looks like nothing on the strip. I can put that away. Nice calming night right now. All right, back to it, right? Uh, quarter letting. Uh, hmm. When the church found someone to be guilty of a sin beyond the forgiveness of God, was that, is that me? Is it? <laughs> Am I doing the laughing? Uh, the accursed could atone for the sins by re-injuring the case of God and going to cleanse the sin of the claim that this... Here's the thing, is I'm starting to become less and less interested in this. The order would be drained until the custom week, the weakness would become... Yes. Okay, let's, let's speed this up. Ah, oh, let's just spirit to do the power limited to make no reality is enough to break the limit of the The other things of the The following of the various entities and the purpose of the ground will be the tent. Tools, the force may be on through the of the steam. Around the world, the fabric of the living, woman in white. For example, a fleeting manifestation of the sounds of desolation is the physical man. Now, the cup of the steam is the bonds of spirit long enough for them the world to perform the Desire to task to be signed the victim of the kind of the, the woman in the light is the partial thing the part of the you know, Okay, so she's a ghost. I'm sure she'll show up. The Shadow Man, hey, we've seen him, right? The weak manifestation of the house animal lives. One of my characters' name is Imolo, which uh, is like a Latin stand in for sacrifice, because they used to burn all of their sacrifices. So Who are these kids? That's the creepy part right there. What are these kids smiling? Right? 
kids are grinning like, oh my god, I'm, I'm so creepy because I'm sure. Anyway, um, a shadow man is often seen standing in the eye of the lurker, whatever. The mimic. Uh, Mimic is a weaker manifestation of the house. Okay, okay, he's a treasure chest. Got it. Uh, long took the monitor. Eternal. Woo! Alright. I'm done with that. Identifying in mon demonic tendencies. This might be actually fucking useful. This might be useful. While learning the name of the demonic entity is more about waiting, identifying but which body is experiencing demonic tendencies requires paying close attention. While any of the bodies can be manipulated, it is far easier for the entity to control its own vessel. Sudden movements, large and small, can be signs of ten tenacity? Ten ten tenacity? Tenancy. All right, got it. If a body appears to be more active than others or strange markings start to appear, it may be signs of demonic tendency. However, the demon is trying its best to remain elusive and may manifest these manipulations on other bodies, which is why it's important to take note of which body is experiencing these events. The more events link to a specific body, the more likely it is to be controlled vessel. All right, cool. The appearance of new markings of the body is something we've got to look forward to. Uh, sudden movements, or large or small, like, say, sitting up on the gurney, Repeated movements. The body is more active than others. Okay. When a demon ent demonic entity is present, the vessel it's occupying may form marks not previously observed, inspecting the body additional times. Okay. Okay. So I have to... I just realized what this is. This is FNAF. We're playing Five Nights at Freddy's, the Mortuary Edition. I just realized that's what actually is going on. So anyway... So we have all these markings. This, this is a clue, right? We're, we are playing Cluedo trying to find the body that the demon has inhabited. And then we put the mark on the body to force the demon into it, right? That's what's going on. All right. A body with demonic inha inhabitants may display sudden movement. These movements can be small like a twitch of the finger or large as a full body manipulation. And look, we've got a real player in uh, video. All right. This working? Yeah. This thing is huge. So, uh, I guess, um, this is David. Raymond, this feels insane, but I think you were right. This has happened a few times now, but let me see if I can get in here. So this is the kind of thing we got to be looking for. Alright. What? What? What's going on? Is that a cat? Try the scribble paper. Yep, I'm on it. Okay. All right, we're still learning about uh, evil. And we're actually at a pretty good point here. Um, ooh, hey, here we go. Signs of the Covetous Demon. Each of the Covetous Demons contain one of the three houses. The service of the Halls of Satan, the House of Sin. The demon's true name is composed of four sigils of bondage. Below are three houses known to be covetous demons within. Immolation, Invidious, and Desolation. Um, oh, here are their names. Cool. The House of Immolation. Uh, these guys. Well, it could be um, this guy right here, Enak, if we knew. Um, it could be Azel or Shadat. Or Varaketh Vermouth. Uh, uh, Takeshi's Castle and, 
uh, Uzumaki. All right. So cool. We have a way of identifying one of uh, twelve demons. Cool. Tools of expulsion. We kind of got a definition of this, and I really want to get back to the game. But let's look up the mark because that's the most mysterious of them all. All right, the mark of one of two tools used for binding things, which shows eventually slats holds a sigil that represents a part of the demon's name. When all four are placed in the correct configuration, place the com the complete mark on the vessel believed to have demonic tendency. Uh, tendency, uh, the mark will react to the baleful region inside, binding the demon to it. Once the demon is bound, burn the body. Okay, uncovering the demon's name. The evocation can only be completed once the demon has inscribed four sigils of its name into our world. Really? Because, like, we can use some process of elimination here, surely, right? Because we're playing Clue. We're not, we're not playing... Yeah, I guess we're just playing Clue. Uh, they are hidden from us until revealed by burn, the burning of a letting parchment. Once all four sigils are discovered, the name of the demon will be known and then we can mark it. All right, that's that's cool. That's cool right there. Uh, letting parchment. We already know how that works. We've been working on it, and uh, you know what? I think, I think we've got everything we need. It took about twenty minutes, but we we I think we got everything we need for this. So let's close this and let's actually do our job. Name is Nicholas age 36 he's got a blemish on his head he's got a rash on his left shoulder he's got a blemish on his right arm uh, he's got a blemish on his left arm uh, his right leg uh, has a hemogenia and his left leg has a mild abrasion okay Yeah? I uh. need to file the copy up front. Yeah, yeah? Uh, okay. God, why am I turned on? Yeah, well, you know, drugs is a hell of a drug. There we go. Let's file this. Bombing report. Uh, it's time to clean bomb. What? What was that? Okay, let's get to work. Uh, we need to wire your jaw shut, sir. We only need to do this on one side. Got to be e economical about it, right? You know, if you had tetanus, this would make this so much easier because your your lockjaw would take care of it for us. But anyway, there we go. There we go. Exquisite. All right, what's next? Um, insert eye caps. That's right. We need eye caps. Uh, I believe I saw the eye caps down here. Nope, not that one. Here are the eye caps. Eye caps like that. All right. What up, my dude? Wink for me. All right. Do you hear that bass noise? That bass noise has been going on for a little bit. Um. 
Embalming fluid into the pump. Is that coming from outside my house? Um. R right. I'm sure that's normal. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, this is humectant, which I need. We'll grab that. I also need, uh... Gly Glyber or something. Yeah, formaldehyde I'll definitely need. Uh, methanol. I definitely need methanol. And, uh... Nope. Put me dead on. And I need glolateratimonide. Glarusnumonide. No, that's a bleaching agent. I don't need that. From out high, I already got that. Um, hmm. uh, I don't know where the other stuff is. Hello. Is down here. Hello. What is this called? Glucholaldehyde? Glu Glucha? I'm not good with these kinds of names. So. Not bleaching agent, right? It's not this. This isn't it, right? No, that's not it. So, so oh, of course, it's it's hidden here. Of course it is. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Gonna need this. Good old Herbert West reagent. There we go. All right. Now we're going to need some things. We're going to need uh, a scalpel, forceps, and tubing. Well, we got forceps here. Is there already blood on it? God, how unsanitary. What about the health of my... What about the health of my patients? Tubing. If I were tubing, where would I be? Oh, that's, that's it right there. Yeah. I really like the sound of the rain. I think that's relaxing. You know what, demon? Say whatever you want, but the sound of the rain is really relaxing me. Okay, let's just cut this open. There we are. Put in the forceps. And then the tubing. And there we go. And let's strain you out. Hmm. What's happening? I'm gonna quickly walk around the place. You do you. Hey, what's up there? Okay, so it's around here. Oh, hey! Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. So, excuse me a second, sir. Uh, Nicholas, was it? It was Nicholas. Um, I just need to get, uh, this one. What, what if? Okay, I can shift it around. So, alright, that's fine. So, just out of curiosity, so this, this Z shape and the Sonic the Hedgehog. Can I check out the night shift real quick? Um, Z-shape and Sonic the Hedgehog. There's a Z-shape. Um, so not one of this house. 
so let's try the house of the invidious uh, Z shape Z shape and Sonic the Hedgehog so Azel is likely who we're dealing with so Azel and uh, let's see here Z shape uh, Sonic the Hedgehog but not Z shape uh, Z shape Z shape. Okay, so we're dealing with a Zell. We're dealing with a Zell here. So now we know, right? So let's let's get that that thing here. So we got Sonic at the top, Z shape, then nine and a T. I'm sure this will go fine. This will go fine. There we go. Pull that back up. You're doing good, my man. You're doing good. Was that it? Is this our guy? Like, right off the bat? I mean, that's a pretty... Just gonna put this down real quick. But, Nicholas, I I'm afraid to say, you you're like right at the top of my list. Okay, so that might be a check the team and saying mythos. I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. Uh, let's go ahead and finish embalming you. Uh, I need, I think over here. Yeah, I'm gonna need a troker, and I need a bag to fill with uh, cavity filling things. I think that's it. Yeah, this is it. And I'll I'll burn you in a second. You just you just hang on there, buddy. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's like a, a demonic voice like Ethan for uh, travelers? Like, where's the bathroom? The uh, the demon will wave generally in there the direction of everything. Like, that is the bathroom. The world is the bathroom, right? Uh, mix cleanser in the tank. Oh, yeah, the cleanser. All right. Um, we're going to have to figure out... We're going to have to figure out um, how the mark is supposed to work again. Wait, you're on the table right now, right? No, you, you hold on a second. Let's see here. Um, mix the cleaner in the bathroom. So that is just... Oh, moisturizer. We need moisturizer. Like, yeah, I can deal with you, but, like, I gotta do my job. Alright, I gotta do my job. I can't use that here. Aw, oh, that's a pity. Okay, there we go. They're more annoying than anything, right? It's just more annoying than anything. All right, let's moisturize you. You're looking good there, buddy. 
All right. Um, am I going to burn this body? Am I going to burn this body? Do I need to burn the body? Ooh, that's not good. Hey, what's up, man? Like, oh, God damn it. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Do I need to burn this particular body? That's the question right now. God damn it. Annoying fucking demons. Um, we're going to get another body. And then we're going to see how the mark works. Right? Oop, there we are. Right now, Nicholas is high on the possibilities of demons, right? He's high in the possibilities. So the next one we got is Abram Doherty. Very mortuary assistant. Yeah, you know what? Thank you very much. I, uh, I made this especially today. Uh, oof. You've, you've got some mass there, buddy. All right, Abram. Let's get you worked out. Get you cleaned up. I, I kind of want to die. I kind of want to see what happens if I'm, like, possessed uh, via uh, demons and shit. I kind of want to know. I want to know what, that hap what happens there. Um. Oh, shit. I need that door open, thank you. How am I supposed to see the jump scares if this door isn't open? Oh, fuck, I forgot. I mean, I know the guy's name, but just in case I have the wrong name here, right? Just in case. Excuse me a sec. So there's already one in here. There's already one like right here so is there another somewhere around here as we play FNAF okay no it looks like you're clear well let's go ahead and get uh, Abram started uh, let's start with the legs and move on uh, you need three markings well there's one right here it's burning that's not a good sign Um, let's check out your other leg real quick. Good. You were a ladies' man, weren't you? Uh, no, nothing going on there. This is about my body shape. I'm a little worried. Oh, 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 I gotta check the body. That looks alright. Oh. There we go. There we go. Put you back. Whoa. And, uh, you know, I gotta make sure you're not in the house of three. I I'm really sorry, dude. I gotta, I gotta make sure you don't have any, like, demonic marks. You'll have to excuse me in your jittery-ass body. Man, I hope to look this good when I die. Looking great there, Abram. <coughs> All right. Let's go ahead and report it. Also, I want to make sure I got this right, right? Okay. Uh, Sonic Z9T. Alright, that's that's what I think it is. Uh, and there it is. Sonic Z9T. I'm pretty sure that's the correct one. And I can be proven wrong. We'll, we'll just have to see. Alright, let's see here. He's got a rash on his left shoulder. Oh, new one. Name, Doherty, age 42. All right, left shoulder has a rash. His left arm has a, some blemishes, and his left leg has some keratosis. There we go, submit. Anyway, 
Hey, Untrusted, how you doing, man? Because right now, like I said, I was, this was going to be Horror Night, and I really I really wanted to play into this. Um, I don't know, if this works out well, I might make Friday Horror Night, and uh, and we can we can do this. I am going to put this on uh, YouTube, so if you want to catch up later. Um, I don't remember opening that door before. Close that. Yeah, I saw him. Yeah, I saw him. I'm not going to go back and take a look at him. He's Jump Scare City. Why would I do that? He's he's over there. Just leave him alone. Just leave the demons alone. Right? The demons are over there. Okay. Um. Where was I? Let's go ahead and wire his jaw shut. Grab that. Grab that. I believe that demon actually has a name, right? Like that particular guy. We've we've seen him on the on the list of the, in the night shift thing. Eh, sorry to do this, dude, but I gotta make sure those teeth are nice and well preserved for the next two hundred years, or however long it takes. There we go. Alright, let's get some caps. Uh, the do demons do anything weird? I don't see anything weird. There we go, eye caps. Let's take care of your eyes, buddy. You just hold still. Open up those peepers. Jeepers, creepers. Alright. Another to protect your eyes for the next 200 years. I'm, I'm lying, that's what the flies go for first. Not to alarm you. I need to get the embalming thing mixed up. Alright, let's start with the hidden one, right? The glitteroteride. And next we need some of this, right? This uh, formaldehyde, of course. Which was used once as a preservative for food, but only... Uh, there, there is a non-toxic form of formaldehyde. And it actually works great. Uh, the problem is that, uh, do you want to drink formaldehyde now? Because, like, it's, it's plant-based, right? Um, interesting story of formaldehyde. This is... Ah, uh, that's bleaching agent. God damn it, that's not what I'm looking for. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, I need the hemectin. Nope. Oh? Hello? Yeah. Hello? 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 Why are you? Oh, we're gonna fun. I'm going to kill you, Rebecca. It's another Tuesday night. It's another Tuesday night. Don't remember opening those drawers. Anyway, back to it. I'm gonna kill you, Rebecca. That's what you sound like. Um, what am I missing? Methanol! Methanol. Where is that beautiful methanol? This isn't methanol. No, that's methanol. Um, oh, that's right. Methanol's over here, right? Yeah, there we go. I need that. Also, turn this light on. Stop turning the light off. There we go. Okay. I've forgotten what to do. My brain is... Oh, 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 forgot. I forgot. We might we might need this. This is my special reagent. There we go. Alright, now I need tubes and forceps and a scalpel. Which I'm surprised I don't already have that in my uh, in my list, right? <coughs> Surprised I don't have that already. Okay, nothing. All right. Um, need forceps. I need a scalpel. I need tubing. Oh, 
All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Let's take care of that neck. That big, strong man neck. Okay, I'm just gonna get you started, and yeah, that's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. Mm. Okay, that that genuinely got me a start. That genuinely like fucking. <laughs> I credit where credit is due. That made me jump. There we go. Awesome. Okay, let's see here. Um, sorry to do this, I just need to make sure you're in the clear, my man. Are you sure this is the right one? Nope. All right. Let's, um... Ooh, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and... Take care of the rest of your shit. So... Abram is super high on my list. More than the last guy. Uh, let's see here. Fill an empty IV reservoir bag with cavity fluid and get a troker. Alright. The trokers are over here. Let's grab one. Uh, the cavity bags, I believe, are up here. Let's go ahead and put that in the reservoir bag. There we go. Hey, guard. Like, how's the game going? Uh, I'm pretty sure this is our man. So, this game is basically Five Nights at Freddy's. There's no joke. This game is Five Nights at Freddy's. There's no way around it, right? So, yeah. Oh, we're going into the stomach. Okay. Um... Yeah? Life's going pretty good here, guard. Uh, things are going right. I'm very confident. I'm very confident. Yeah. So, um, uh, uh, yeah, I get some hallucinating again. That's a lot of blood, and I don't think that bucket can hold all that blood. Let me just. What are you doing here? What? What? Whoa! I'm just looking at the the thingy here, uh, like uh, normal people do. Might be dead or hallucinating. Seems fun enough. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, I think I'm still hallucinating. Hey, Abram. How you doing, man? Nope, not that way. Let's we'll excuse me. Out. Whoa. Somewhere around here. Oh, hey! And there's the nine. Okay, we got the right name. We got the right name, everybody. We got the right name. It's absolutely we. It's it's absolutely uh, Azel. Uh, so now the question is: Should I play the game to the fruition and lose? Because I kind of want to lose. No joke, right? I think we all want to see like this woman get uh, get completely possessed and. And say things like, No, I am Satan. 
And now I shall go and eat all the donuts. We, we all want that to happen, right? So, fill empty IV reservoir with... Ca That's right, I got stuck in the middle. Uh, I was doing the choker. Might be time to go ahead and burn the other guy. Just start throwing bodies into infernaces. There we go. There we go. So, Abram. Got any funky marks of Satan? I kind of want to burn him. You guys want me to burn him? Mix clean in the bathroom. That's right. I need to. I need to clean up the. Um, Thing. Just do that real quick. Should I burn this body? You guys want me to burn this body? Because I'm pretty sure this is our man. No joke. Uh, apply moisturizer. We're gonna need some moisturizer. Did the first guy get a demon mark on him somewhere? I mean, we can take a look. Hey, what's up there, buddy? Don't mind me. Checking you out. He looks clear. He looks clear. Burn him. I gonna. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait for you guys to decide. Right? Burn him. Should I burn him? You guys want me to burn? Yet? Yeah, I just need a yay or nay. What do you guys think? Cause I can burn him. I'll take the first answer. Rush now. Yay. Okay, I got a yay from Guardian. That's good enough for me. Hold on to that thought. I shouldn't be out here. Mm, don't see any demonic marks on you, so back in you go. You know what? The guy didn't tell me. Temporary cremation bag. The guy didn't actually tell me. Right? This is, I did check the last guy. Oh, uh. Why am I looking at you? It's like a one in three chance, right? But this is the only guy that spoke. All right, you know what? All right, we can, God damn it. It is that weird feeling of what if I'm wrong? 
Yeah. What if I'm wrong? Here's what we're gonna do, because the other guy talked too. Oh, there it is for a second, Abram. And I'm sure we've got plenty of time. I saw the thing saying that the right one should have like a demonic thing show up on their forehead. It's like it was buggy. Hey, Nicholas. Don't worry, Nicholas. We're we're just gonna we're just gonna take you for a quick ride. I like the jiggle physics. I dig the jiggle physics. All right, let's take a quick look at you there, Nicholas. Do the dead comfort you. Yep. Well, I mean, like no. Hey, Nicholas. I got bad news, my friend. I got bad news. I want you to know, um, it's, it's not you. Well, I'm kidding, it is you. But, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Do, do. While you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put some stuff away. Oh, I can. Yep. Okay, so I kind of suspect, Nicholas, that you're, you're not making the case better for yourself. You're only making it worse. You're only making it worse. Okay, so yeah, it was Nicholas. <laughs> there you are. Good. Is it over? It's never over. But you survived. What do you mean? Can I leave? I want to go home. You can leave. But once an entity finds you, all the houses of hell will do anything to get back to you. <coughs> I'm sorry, but it doesn't end here. From now on, there is always a chance this will happen again. No matter where you are. I don't want this. I just want to leave. What do I do? I'm sorry, but there's no going back. I've spent years learning everything I can to keep these entities at bay. It's the only thing we can do. So what, you're waging some selfless, holy war? It's not a war. It's survival. And I'd hardly call it selfless. We're caught at the front line of something larger. But I don't do this for some greater good. We either face it, or fall to it. I wish I could claim to be someone better. Suffering hell to save us all. But I simply want to live another day, just like everyone else. When I first experienced this, I had to make a choice. I could run 
and spend the rest of my days in fear. Or I could learn to face it and keep some semblance of a normal life. Normal. Right. It's not a life I would want for anyone. But choosing between a life of fear or control... You're the first person I've met to face this hell and survive. So I'm offering you a different kind of job. Work the night shift. Learn what I know. Give yourself a chance at a life beyond fear. I don't know what you experienced, but I know it uses the worst parts of you against yourself. The more you experience, the more you'll confront the darkest parts of your life. But through it, you'll become unbreakable. I'm offering the tools to take control. The choice is yours. I hope you come back. Ending one of five. C cool. Times possessed, zero. Cool. Demons banished, one. Bodies embalmed, two. Bodies burned, one. So, so yeah, I'm right. This is this is Five Nights at Freddy's. This is totally Five Nights at Freddy's. Let me quickly give my my rundown of what what this what I feel like this is. Right. Um, first off, I, I was not afraid. Like I wasn't really afraid. Um. To be fair, I have been actively working towards eliminating fear from my life. Not the ability to fear, but just fear in general. So I'm just, I'm pretty, I'm pretty laid back about it all. But the other thing is like, I am severely, severely uncomfortable playing this game. <laughs> I'm uh, I don't like this. I, there is, there is more than one kind of horror, right? There is the gross out. Uh, there is the jump scare, uh, which they tried the jump scare and only one of them worked on me. Um, I'm, I'm willing to give them more chances, but jump scares generally are, are kind of lost on me. Um, mostly, not all the time. Then there's like true terror, which uh, is almost like calming terror to me and that's that subtle dread you get from like Silent Hill 2 is well known for that and then there's just uncomfortable and that's what this game is to me this game is fucking uncomfortable so new shift shift 2 continue so we can continue I want to go in again I want to screw up I want to get possessed I think that sounds cool uh, there are, you know, four of uh, five endings. I bet, I bet failing will be an ending. So that's something we got to try. So after the break, uh, we're going in again. After the break, we'll go in again, in again. And then we'll get like, I can use this, the, de the demonic possessed face. Finally more than I did. All right, let's, let's go to break and I'll be right back. 